Hey everyone, we're back with part two of the meme generator tutorial. So in the first part, we got the uh, app variables configured and we got the action sheet to work with our camera. So now let's go see how we turn those photos into memes. So let's go ahead and jump right in and make a new page. And I'll call this one meme page. And I'm going to delete these and drag an image onto here. And this one I'm going to bind again uh, from here in the source to that same app variable that we made last time. So here, data and variables, app variable, and there it is again, image from camera. And this time I'm going to set a preview value from here, this little icon, and that will just make it easier for me when I'm editing later. And I have this image here. I have this great image here of my coworker Mevi again in her unicorn suit. So let's use that and save. Now, if you remember from the demo, we had the image and then the two text input fields on the top and the bottom. So let's go ahead and use those components. I'm going to drag an input field here and then another one on the top. And we can change the labels here if you want. Uh, let's go ahead and put add top text. And we could do it again for the bottom one. Add bottom text. Then I save. Okay, so with these input fields, we need to use another component that will serve as the destination, right, for the text that you're inputting. So for that, let's go ahead and use a paragraph. I'm just going to drop it right there underneath that one. And let's add a second one on top of this input field. And these are these are going to be the text that appears on top of the image. So with these text input fields and these paragraphs, we need to bind them somehow. So for this, we're going to use page variables. So let's go here to the variables tab. And this time we're using page variables because of course we only need to access this information on this specific page of the app. That's why we're not using app variable. So let's create a new one. And I'll call this one meme text. And I'm going to create a second one for the bottom. We already saw that meme text bottom. There it is. Okay. We'll save that. So now those page variables are ready, but we need to bind them to the input field and the paragraph. So for this one, we're going to use that first variable that we made. So here from value, data and variables, page variable, and there it is. We want the first one, meme text. Let's save. And actually we can set a preview value. Let's just go ahead and write, uh, type some funny words here. Okay, that's fine. And let's do the same thing to this paragraph. We need to bind it from here. Data and variables, page variable, meme text. And this is just going to be some preview text. Let's just put something funny. Um, hilarious meme. Sarcasm. <laughs> Save. Okay, and let's do the same thing to the bottom, right? So we select this input field, go to value, data and variables, page variable, and this time we want the bottom one, correct? And let's set another preview value. Let's just put, uh, type some funnier words here. See? And let's add, let's do the same thing to this one. Go ahead and bind it, data and variables, page variable, bottom text again, right? And let's just add some other preview text, such funny. These are my memeing skills. <laughs> let's save that. Okay, great. So now those are all bound correctly. So once you type in the text on the input field, it should appear uh, there in the paragraph component. But now we need a way to get to this page, right? So let's go back to our first page. Okay, I'm going to add a button here that's going to allow me to get to that page. And let's go ahead and label this button, meme it. 
and I want it to take me to that other page, right? So I'm going to go down here to the Logic Canvas and use this open page function and drag it right there and connect it. And if you select it, you can choose which page you want to navigate to. So from here, and the one I want is the meme page, right? So let's save that. Okay. Now, I actually don't want this button to show up until I've uh, selected a photo or taken a photo, right? Which is going to appear here, remember? And so for that, we can actually use a formula. So if you select this button here, you can go to the properties tab on this side and uh, go down to where it says disabled and you can click here to bind it to a formula and select formula. Now, the formula I'm going to use is this. Let's get rid of that. It's going to be if app bars, and these should already kind of fill in for you. So I'm going to select this one here. Let's go ahead and enter that. And I'm going to add in two more things. Let's go ahead and type in false true and save. I'll go ahead and put this uh, formula here in the, in the screen so you can see it more clearly. Okay, and save. Okay, and we're also going to add another formula here under the advanced properties under where it says visible. So select this here. And actually it's going to be the exact same formula except for one detail. So let's type it in again. If app, there it is, image from camera, you can select it and then hit enter. This time, instead of false true, we're going to just reverse it. So it says true false. Okay, let's save. Okay, so basically, if we did this correctly, it should now be hidden unless we take a photo or select a photo. So let's go ahead and test it out. Let's go ahead and select a photo. Uh, let's pick this, this is fine, dog. Okay, there's the picture and there's the button. We did it, now let's see if the button works. Okay, awesome. So now we're on our meme page, right? Let's go ahead and see if these text input fields work, right? When it's, I can't type, when it's fine. <laughs> uh, and let's try the bottom. But you still need a drink. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so now the text input fields, uh, both on the top and the bottom work. Uh, our meme page is functional. So in the last part of the video, we're going to go ahead and add all of those styling elements and a few extra tricks to really make it a true meme. See you there.